Hey, so yes, I'm wearing a coat. I'm staying indoors. Uh, the gyms were closed. Um, I don't know how much of the past few days I'm gonna show in this vlog. I'm kind of gonna go through the footage, and it's a lot of footage because I'm upset. Um, I tried something, it didn't work. I tried it for 10 weeks, and honestly, I paid a lot of money for it. Um, I, I mean, I'm sure you know, if you've watched my vlogs, I, I tried ferals, um, and I really did try. Um, and people were like, oh, well, maybe because my numbers at the end were worse than when I started. I weighed more. My body fat percentage uh, hadn't really changed. So yeah, I was I was upset. I still continue to be upset. Um, and since everybody's, I mean, we're not in shelter in place, but we're in this state. But uh, everything's pretty much closed anyway. So it's essentially shelter in place, except for like daycares and shops, certain shops, not all shops, uh, but cert like just shopping centers um but nobody's out anyway no one's uh, no one's out anyway so um yeah so i was gonna join a dance but that doesn't seem like that's gonna be happening anytime soon um i can hear the birds out and i really enjoy hearing the birds and wildlife i've been thinking a lot about wildlife recently there's a lot of things I've, that's been on my mind, um, one of which just like going back to my fitness journey, journey, um, I tried ferals, I tried the diet program, and the people, the reason why I'm not going to do it more is because it didn't work for me. It said it would, you know, oh, you, you're speeding up your metabolism, well, I have metabolism issues, and... I replace my metabolism. I take medicine to even have a metabolism. I take, you know, and I have done tests. I, you know, I keep getting them every couple of months. They're fine, apparently, my levels. Um, but I'm not seeing any progress. So I find that hard to believe because everybody tells me how hard. I'm working. Everybody's like, you're working so hard. Um, you're like, oh, good workout. Like, I felt, I felt that at Ferrell's at least. I felt that sense of community. There were people though that I didn't. There's certain things about being in a fitness community where you can tell someone's judging you by like how you're uh, how many reps you're doing, um, and what band do you have, um, and that kind of thing, and I'm, I was giving it my all, I really was, and even on the diet, I was really trying, um, more than I think I've tried before, but by the time I hit my fifth week, I realized that this wasn't working for me, um, and that, yeah, I was losing inches, but it still wasn't working for me. Because, like, it, it just wasn't, you know, I just didn't like the way I felt. I still don't like the way I feel, really. And just my frustrations with it all have gotten more intense than ever before. I'm just intense because I felt like Ferrell's was telling me that they knew my body and how it worked. But I, that's the thing is that I don't think anybody can tell me how my body works except for me because I have such a unique body with 
my health problems that I've had since I was young, um, my health with my, uh, the caused by my health problems with my bones, my hands, and just other things, so I don't think anyone can tell me that, oh, yeah, you can do this, and I'm like, yeah, maybe, someday, but not today. You think that I am young and strong just by looking at me, but I have issues with my hands, uh, I have issues with my bones, I have issues with so much, and my metabolism, and I just think the way that it's working, it's not working, so... I think that Feral's is definitely for a lot of people. I have watched it work um, on many people. Um, I have one individual particularly in mind that I think it worked for. And I'm, I will miss that sense of community, but I'm not going to sign on again because it's not working for me. Um, and none of the times really worked for me either. Um, yeah, I wanted to do it to see it through, to show that I could. Yeah, I wanted to prove that, I wanted to prove to myself and to others that It's not for a lack of effort. It's not my fault. I'm trying and I'm giving it as much as I can. And that's what I did. Up until last week when the gyms closed down. And then I kind of was like, there are four more days left in this and I know that it's not working. I kept monitoring myself and I just saw myself get worse because I think for the first five weeks were probably the best and then after that I knew that I could give myself a better workout I could I knew essentially what I needed to do from there um, and I knew that the eating plan wasn't working for me because I was gaining weight and I wasn't hungry I wasn't hungry ever and it was asking me to eat like every three four hours when you're hungry you'll be hungry they'll say they said and I never was I just don't get hungry so I'm gonna try um, more of intermittent fasting slash the way down diet just eating when I'm hungry because that makes sense if my metabolism is off if my metabolism is not functioning properly just listening to my body and how unique it is and when it's telling me I need to eat that makes sense if I have a unique body then I need to be listening to the signals that it's giving me and the cravings that it's giving me and like this week I'm craving asparagus I've never had asparagus since I was like really young I don't like it but I'm kind of craving it and so I'll probably have asparagus this week um I think just like listening to actual cravings, what you're actually hungry for. And I've talked about that before. So I didn't want to kind of, I didn't want to air mostly the grievances and the spur of the moment anger that I had after my weigh-in and after my final check-in. Because I felt really judged. I felt judged when I weighed in. I felt judged. I felt judged when I 
held the thing to weigh my body fat percentage and I felt judged when I took my picture and I was telling the girl that yeah, I did follow the, the food guideline. I felt judged through it all and even when leaving, I felt judged because they were like, oh, are you going to sign up again? Are you going to sign up to be a fit member? And I was like, I haven't signed up yet. Uh, and I really enjoy, like, hanging out with my coworkers there. And I'm scared to lose that. Sorry. <sighs> I just hope that, like, that's not the only reason why people started hanging out with me is because I started going to the gym with them. <sighs> it's not a good look, but that's how I feel. <sighs> so I didn't want to air the angry vlog that I had, that I had recorded after it, because I know that this is going to work for some people, but it didn't work for me, and so it's just another notch in the heartbreak of me trying to lose weight, because it was a hard program, I mean, I've had hard programs before, and I've done them, but I really had hope for this one, because I saw people close to me that I knew do it, and it worked. But it didn't work for me. So, signing off didn't mean for anyone to see me cry, but there we go. Bye.